Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're presenting on surface tension today. So what is surface tension? Surface tension is the molecular attraction of the hydrogen bonds at the top of a cup of water. It almost leads to sort of membrane. This is called cohesion. And Ryan's gonna let you know how it works. So what cohesion is? Um, intermolecular attractions are different than bonds like ionic and covalent bonds. Uh, I don't think you like, cover it in high school chemistry unless it's AP. And what that is, uh, hydrogen um, molecules are attracted to oxygen and nitrogen, and that creates an attraction between the molecules. So molecules in the middle of the water, uh, as explained by cohesion, are attracted to every single molecule around them, as opposed to the molecules at the top that are attracted to the molecules side by side, and that creates a stronger bond between the molecules and just creates that uh, membrane that Max was talking about. And this is a scientific diagram that will show you the sum of forces and why uh, the, surf, the force of tension at the top is much greater than the force uh, experienced by tension uh, of molecules in the middle of the water. And adhesion uh, is a similar attraction, except the molecules aren't attracted to each other, they're attracted to foreign surfaces. So when you have like a burette, when you uh, are measuring something or need to take a measurement, the uh, water level isn't straight across, it has a little U-shape that we call the um, meniscus, and that is caused by something we call a capillary action, where the molecules are attracted to the sides of the surface, so that creates a U-shape. Something pretty cool happens here. Um, for example, if you tap a large glass of water, you take a smaller glass tube and put it inside, the water will actually rise higher in the smaller glass. Um, and as this, the glasses you put in get smaller, the water will actually rise higher and higher. And that's called capillary action. Um, it's caused by the adhesion of the water molecules and it occurs the, um, due to the attraction of the molecule to the foreign surface. And I just wanted to note something else. If you take a uh, smaller diameter glass tube and put it in, the water level will rise even higher uh, due to that capillary action. So surface tension uh, is most known in nature by things like uh, water striders or spiders that can uh, walk on water and glide across water. I'm sure you guys have uh, seen that. But I think it's really neat how uh, you have organisms that are more dense in water itself, but because of that surface tension membrane at the top of water, uh, it supports them fully. There's also a pretty cool picture on Twitter. I don't know if you've seen it. It's like a shark coming out of the water where the head is above the water level, but it hasn't broken the surface tension yet. Yeah. So you see that, that surface tension. So what we're going to do today for you guys is a paperclip experiment to show you how surface tension can actually work. Um, we're just going to fill the cup up with water, put the paperclip on top, it should float. Um, we'll put, have a tissue underneath it, once we start kind of flipping a little bit, the tissue should fall, and the paperclip should stay on top. You guys know obviously that the paperclip is heavier and more dense than the tissue, so that will kind of show how surface tension affects the um, And uh, this is what the desired result should be of the paperclip experiment. Uh, it takes a little bit of touch to get it right, but I think we should be able to do that. And uh, that's all we have today for, in terms of presentation. So we'll just uh, do the experiment and show you guys kind of how that works.
actually wear capes, I don't know. <laughs> Not gold ones, at least. Pours into the water, and if all goes well, you can scoot it out of the way. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And it's not really floating, it's actually surface tension that's holding it up, so it's, it's suspended. And you can just get those to float just like that. That is amazing. Isn't that cool? Now, if you're in Japan, you know, because this is on the internet, so lots of people can see it, you get one of your Japanese yen, and these are made out of aluminum. And if all goes well, let's see if I can get this to work. Look at that. I can't believe it. Isn't that cool? <laughs> that is so, so you know, cool. So, you know, have the kids come home from school and see if they can figure out how that works. And by the way, a little touch of uh, soap on your finger in there, and phew, it won't work anymore. Really? All right, so that's another trick. There, we made something float. And <laughs> success by like lowering the paper clip with some other metal object rather than that putting uh, a sheet of tissue paper on top of the water so um, I think that would have been a better idea but it works for uh, objects that are like th thin like paper clips or needles that can um, be withstood by that membrane on top of the water like you said with the soap what the soap does it kind of it breaks those bonds for a second yeah that membrane is gone, so the things fall right through it. You guys have any questions? All right. Thank you. This is Fluid Flow. Uh, we're all classics engineers. This is our first semester junior year. So it's part of our Fluid Flow class. So we learned about uh, like. Newtonian, non-Newtonian fluids, uh, pseudo-plastics, uh, stuff like uh, Reynolds number and uh, laminar turbulent flow. Oh, as, as well as we talked about all of the calculations yeah. that we do are for a nice ideal fluid. As well as, flow. as well as the Bernoulli equation, yeah. uh, we, we also go over that uh, to a good extent. But it's hard to take those concepts and make uh, like visual experiments with them. So yeah. we wanted to bring in a more elementary concept like surface tension where there's still a, a fair deal of chemistry behind it, um, but it doesn't relate directly to fluid flow. Like we didn't need to take the Bernoulli equation and do an experiment. Like we could have, uh, we had a, a good amount of freedom to go ahead and uh, do any sort of uh, fluid concept or science concept that we would like. Yeah, that was visually cooler than pretty much any yeah, yeah. I think I think that a natural phenomenon like surface tension is uh, neat to uh, learn about at any level. I didn't even really learn about it until I was like a sophomore, junior in high school. But yeah. um, how cohesion and adhesion work, I think it's a really neat concept. How you can see it firsthand like that. Still nothing. Okay. All right. Do you guys have any general questions, not just on their demonstration? Some of you might be thinking about getting a demonstration. Okay. Does anybody remember Max? I, he was one of my former students, so. 2013, <laughs> baby. Well, thank you very much. All right, guys, thank you.